Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install XEMP on your Windows 8 or Windows 8.1 operating system. XEMP is a combination of Apache Web Server plus MySQL database plus PHP and Perl. So if you want to make your uh, web or your computer as a local web server, you can make it by installing XEMP to test your uh, website. So let's see how we can install XEMP. You just need to go to your browser and just search for XAMPP and the first link you will find here is from www.apachefriends.org. Just click this uh, link here and you can see why it's called XAMPP. A stands for Apache, M stands for MySQL, P for PHP and P for Perl and X stands for the operating system. You can use Windows or Linux or OS X for the installation. So what we are interested in is XAMPP for Windows. So just scroll down and you will be able to see this uh, download link here. Just click this link and download will start in few seconds. So it depends upon the speeds of, of your computer how long it will take to download. So once this download is complete this file you see download has started and it will take some time to uh, download this because it's uh, more than 100 MB file so once this download is complete we are ready to uh, install XMP on our uh, Windows operating system so I have already downloaded this installer so I will just double click this and for the first time uh, it will show an uh, uh, warning so you need to click more and uh, you need to click there run anyway okay and then click yes and in some moments the installation will start so the installation has started I will just and in between your installation it will give you a little uh, th these kind of warnings and you just need to click continue with the installation yes we need to continue with the installation and click ok here and then your setup will start so click next and these are uh, the these are the server mysql ftp server tomcat perl and php my admin these are the tool it will install when you click next okay so if you want to remove anything you can remove it but generally I like it or like to check all the things and go further so click next and this is the default location XM will be installed in your system C colon slash XM okay so just remember this uh, folder name because we are you going to use this folder name in our folder uh, location in our, in our further demonstration so click next and click next and ready to install so you can click next here and XMP will start installing itself now so this uh, installation will also take some time to install so I will pause the video once it will be installed I will show you how to go further so now our installation is complete and I want to launch this control panel for XMP. so just keep this checkbox checked and click finish so it will uh, launch this control panel for your XAMPP. And now you will be able to see this XAMPP control panel like this. Okay. Now in here you can start this Apache web server and MySQL database connection you just need to click this uh, start button here and then Apache will be started it will give you this small little warning and it says private networks such as my home you want to use it 
and also if you want to use it on public networks such as airport and coffee shops uh, I generally click, click this option also and I allow access and this will start this Apache server and to start MySQL you just need to click this start button and MySQL will be started also so for now we only need to uh, run this Apache web server and MySQL this FileZilla and uh, Tomcat you can use it later uh, whenever you want to use them but for now uh, we are just fine with this Apache and MySQL okay so now once you have started these two processes you can always stop them by clicking the stop buttons and they will be stopped so right now they are running because you will be able to see the stop symbol and when you see the start symbol then they are stopped and you will be able to start them okay so now once we have Apache Web Server and MySQL started you can go to your uh, web browser and uh, just right here localhost okay and click enter and you will be able to see this screen here if you will be able to see this XMP uh, default screen when you type here localhost then your Apache web server is running and XMP is installed successfully in your computer okay so in here you need to choose your language I will choose English and this is your XMP index the first thing you need to do uh, after installing this XMP is to change the security so what you need to do you need to just click this security here this little security tab here so just click security and in here you will be able to see this these XMP pages are accessible by network for everyone so these are unsecured right now right so to make them secure you just need to click this link this which is provided by uh, XM to you this link just click this link and in here you will be able to see this kind of a page okay so first of all you can change the password for uh, your MySQL so let's change the password and I will retype my password and I will say password changing okay so the password was successfully changed please restart MySQL okay so I will restart MySQL and uh, you also need to change this password HTA access or HT access directory so just give the password to this HT directory or HT access uh, so I will give the user as root and give the password you can remember and I will just click this button called make safe XM directory and now your XM directory is protected right so once you have uh, followed these procedure you will be able to write your first PHP code or whatever code you want to test and you will be able to test them so for example uh, once this installation is complete you can go to your folder where you have installed this XMP so in my local disk program file I will be able to find this XMP or local uh, disk program file x86 and in here I think I will be able to find this where is this okay so in here I, I forgot the path we have installed this XMP on C colon slash XMP right so I go to that path C in the C directory just go to this XMP directory and click it and in here you will be able to see so many uh, folders in here and what we uh, need to do is we need to go to HT docs and in this HT docs 
there will be files which will run whatever files you will place here you will be able to see it in here so this index file dot php is i think you will be able to find here this one okay index dot php right so this is that file whatever you are seeing here index dot php is this file index dot php now for example i want to create a l l nice little test to test whatever i place in here will be shown in my browser or not so for example i will uh, make a new new text document and i will name it as test and i will open this test and i can write here this is a test for example and i will just save this save and close this and now when i can go to my browser and open this file by just going to localhost slash test dot txt okay txt and press enter and you will be able to see your message so it will open your test file and it has opened this message from the text text file if you are able to see these uh, uh, files or whatever content in the file then xamp is successfully installed and running on your system so whatever file or whatever uh, folder and file which you will add here will be able to run here okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now